right. Fenestra has got quickest. Sasha Fenestra in the Nissan. Gunter second. So now let's see what's going to happen here for Sam Bird as he comes across the timing line. Ninth quickest for him at the moment. He goes second. Knocks out Stoffel Van Dorn from the duel. So Van Dorn is going to be out, but no, Dennis improves as well. Great lap from Jake Dennis right at the end of that one. So it's Fenestras, Bird, Dennis and Gunter that make it through. Verlein doesn't make it through. So the last lap by Dennis popped out Pascal Verlein. Problems here, unfortunately. That's for, a crash. It is, yeah, that's Jake Hughes we're on board with. That's, and that's going to be the end of the session. Crucially, Edo Mortara and Nick Cassidy are not going to make it through. Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, loses the rear. We're on the fastest pass of the track there, straight to the scene of the accident. Oh. Takes off the front left in a secondary impact there as well. Confirmation you can see there on your screen. Cancellation of car uh, of laps for Van Dorn and for Sam Bird, which eliminates Bird from the duels. Well, absolute drama then here in the final stages of Group B qualifying. It's going to be Mitch Evans, Sebastian Buemi, Rene Rast and Edo Mortara, who are the top four drivers that make it through into the duels. Further investigation. Looks like they're going to reinstate the lap times from Group A qualifying for Stoffel Van Dorn and for Sam Bird. So that means that Bird will take part now wow. in the duels. Now confirmation of the drivers who will be taking part in the quarterfinals. So it's Jake Dennis versus Sam Bird. It's Max Gunter versus Sasha Fenestras. It's Rene Rast versus Sebastian Buemi. And now it's Edo Mortara versus Mitch Evans. So two Brits in the first quarterfinal duel. So let's see what happens then. Round the final corner. Get the power down across the timing line. It's at 38.8. Great lap time there for Sam Bird. He knocks out Jake Dennis in the quarterfinal duels. Tasha Benestras, though, still looking pretty strong here through the final sector. Nice and clean out the final corner at 138.8. Easily faster than Maxi Gunter on Maserati's home turf. Regardless, it will be Gunter's best starting position at Rome in his Formula E career. So then, quarterfinal three. This could be very, very close indeed. Let's see what happens for Sebastian Buemi as he comes to the timing line in the envision. It's a 38-8 for him, and it's a 38-6-1. So there's th three hundreds, four hundreds of a second separating Sebastian Buemi and Rene Rast. And Buemi makes it through into the semi-finals, the last of our quarterfinals. Edo Mortara, the Mitch Evans. Mitch Evans, though, through the final series of turns, is he going to be able to upset the apple cart here and get himself into the semi-finals? The checkered flag away Mitch Evans, and it's easily faster than Edo Mortara. So Mitch Evans, the Kiwi, the championship protagonist, makes his way through four tenths of a second ahead of Mortara. So there we are. The quarterfinals are all done and dusted. Bird, Fenestras, Buemi and Evans all go through. Fenestras versus Bird in the semi-finals and Buemi versus Mitch Evans. So here are the semi-finals, the first lineup of two. Sasha Fenestras for Nissan and Sam Bird for Jaguar. Looking for a spot in the finals. Through the final turn he comes. And across the timing line, Sam Bird breaks the beam and it's over a second quicker than Sasha Fenestrad. So what went wrong for the Frenchman in that session? Either way, Sam Bird makes it into the finals for Jaguar TCS Racing. Yeah, we are possibly facing the prospect of the two Jaguar teammates going head to head here in the finals. Let's see what Buemi's lap time is going to be as he comes through in towards turn 19. The last corner on this circuit gets ready to come to the timing line. Check and flag is out for Sebastian Buemi, and it's a 140.4. That is an absolute shocker for Sebastian Buemi. Some consolation is that the worst he'll be on the grid is only four. Mitch Evans, though, is easily going to surpass this. What an incredible lap it's been for Mitch Evans. A 138.461. That is hugely impressive from the Kiwi, and it is a Jaguar showdown in the final. So, at the end of the semi-finals, we say goodbye to Sasha Fenestraz and Seb Buemi. It's Bird versus Evans in the battle for pole position. Well, more than 80% of you think that it's going to go in favour of Mitch Evans here in the two head-to-heads that they've had so far uh, in 2023. It has gone the way of Mitch Evans on two of those occasions. Mitch Evans slides his way out of the final corner, comes across the line, it's a 39 flat, it's enough for his second pole position of the 2023 season. It's a Jaguar TCS Racing front row lockout. Make a job for Mitch Evans as he goes to the top of the pile.